so thank you so much for coming. I hope you're as anxious as I am for the release of the index. Um, but to put things a little bit into context, let me just um, go back a little bit and, and show where this comes from. So every time um, a country implements a new policy uh, or there is an action, uh, an activity, uh, or something new going on uh, in the country that is constantly and repeatedly documented by the press and by the media in general, it starts to build a reputation and starts to build a perception um, in five specific uh, dimensions and affects directly five specific stakeholders according to the Bloom Consulting Country Brand Wheel. So you have, as you know, uh, exports, investment, uh, tourism, um, talent and prominence, which is diplomacy in other words. This perception, we call it the central idea. The central idea mm, is the perception that is built in the heads of, of these people, of these stakeholders, uh, that may not be the right, that may not be aligned with the reality, but it's a perception. And for us, that's the brand. That's country branding. It's the perception about the place. So the central idea, sometimes it's worked upon, sometimes it is something... Yes, yeah, please. <laughs> Hello? Please? I think we have, once then we have to put on the second layer, so <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Anywhere you want. So as I was saying, this central idea that we call is the perception, and this is what we call place branding and what we call country branding. This perception has an impact, a transactional and a non-transactional impact on the place. So I may go to a place because I like more, I may invest because I feel more secure, whatever the reason are, or the reason is. And a non-transactional, which is more intangible, which is just like reputation, or I like it, I don't like, but you probably cannot measure it in a, such a transactional way, like for instance with tourism, which is easy to measure, which is receipts. What is the impact that that perception has in terms of the country? Hello, hello. <laughs> So the, this central idea that we call the axis is um, um, achieved, and it's sometimes not on purpose, or it is on purpose, through actions, activities, and policies. It's not really, when we talk about the central idea, it's not really a slogan, it's not at all a slogan, um, it is not a concept, um, it is not something that you say, it's something that you are. And by, by the way that you are is by acting accordingly to that central idea. Yeah, so the actions, activities, and policies are what will build this reputation towards your place. I'll give examples. So New Zealand, the central idea is purity, or the words around it. It doesn't have to be something that is exactly nailed, but the central idea about New Zealand is purity. And, and all their actions, activities, and policies in all these five dimensions are aligned with this central idea. And so you see, for instance, when we talk about tourism or when we talk about uh, they're going to position themselves and act accordingly to purity. They're not going to talk about nightlife or anything like that. Okay? So I'm just going always to tourism. You, as I said, you have five dimensions. But this one is probably the one that is most of the time most tangible to understand. On the other hand, you have Spain, which has a central idea, which is fun. Uh, either they like it or not. I'm not sure if it was done on purpose. But definitely when you think about Spain, you think about fun. Well, at least the majority of people do. And, and this is amazing, and, and, and it was established through the, their actions, activities, and policies. So because of the bullfight, because of the wine, because of the nightlife and everything, it's like, that's fun, you know? Again, maybe they didn't do this on purpose, but the fact is that, make no mistake, if you don't work on your country or place or city brand, someone else will do. So, okay, they're happy, for, specifically this idea works very well for, for tourism, um, but whenever they want to talk with you, any investor, you know, the investor goes like, uh, I don't know if I want to invest there because what are you going to do with my money, you know? <laughs> You're going to have like a big fiesta, you know? So, so in the case of Spain, the central idea, you have to work in, two different, in the different dimensions. You probably have to position the country into two, two different, different ways. So sometimes you don't have, it's not, it's not a one rule that it has to be one word, one central idea. So the central idea is built through the actions, activities, and policies. <coughs> it's not about saying them. It's not about saying fun. They never say fun. They are fun. So that's what this is about. Now the question is, can you work and you create that or you have to work only with what you have? So there's not a, a simple rule in this and sometimes you can work that you want to achieve something or sometimes it's, it's just there, we just have to magnify through our actions, activities and policies. But you can never say it. 
So again, the actions, activities, and policies. Now, the way that this used to work was that in the past, these actions, activities, and policies, they were documented by the press. They were documented by um, the media in general that processed this information and delivered to the stakeholders that we wanted. Later on, something extraordinary started to happen, which was I started to receive information about places and countries in a non-news channel and in an involuntary way. So I have other platforms that every time I see I'm receiving this information about the place, but without wanting to receive the information about the place, but I'm receiving that information. So every time I see a picture of someone saying, I'm in this amazing place, or look what happened here, or a comment, or whatever, I'm receiving information about that place. Even if I'm not, I did not, was not supposed to, or I was not reading, and my, that was not my original interest. But so there's kind of a subconscious seed <laughs> there about, about that place. And with all this, something amazing started to happen, which was you, have, you started to have the stakeholders looking for the information about those places online. I know this sounds a little bit obvious, but it's not. This five years ago did not happen. So every time all these stakeholders I mentioned wanted to find some information about the country, so the first thing is that they started to look for, that there was a common channel, which was a search engine. So you have an idea, tourists, like 67% of tourists, according to Google, they start their journey online. And when I say start their journey is they don't know where they're going to go. They just type in, where shall I go on vacation? Investors, 80% use search engines and 91% of investors say that whatever they find online influences or highly influences their decision on how to invest and where to invest. And so on for talent and so on for prominence. So you started to see a new behavior and a new a proactivity. And this is a game changer. And this is really what's amazing is people starting to look for information using the search based on information they see. So it does not have to be digital at all, but a conversation, uh, something they read on the news, yes, of course, digital platforms, and so on. And this causes, this, this is creating, uh, um, uh, this is causing the search, and the search itself is a consequence. It's not the cause. No. When you search about all these five stakeholders, and all about these five topics. So today, this process is called, and it's my great pleasure, to introduce you to a concept called the digital country. The digital country is, and I read it, is a country or a place, city, region, that has triggered proactive interest from different stakeholders towards that country or that place in the digital world. So it's the proactive interest towards that place in the country. Now, you have to see that the digital country has nothing to do with online. This is not online. Oh, digital country is about something about online. Or that it has to do with marketing or social media. That's too reductive. The so, and, and it has nothing to do with web and, oh, I have a digital platform. It has nothing to do with that. The digital country is nothing more than the real country. Because whatever you're going to find here, you're going to find it there. There's no more the old concept about, oh, that's old news, or that was yesterday's news. It will stay there. <laughs> Whatever happens today will stay there forever and ever. So that this, this new dimension is what we call the digital country. So if you want to know how are you perceived um, for, from all those stakeholders worldwide, if you want to know how do you rank, how potentially someone might see you for the first time or for something that is very specific, you can hire us for two million euros right here, right now. Or you can do an alternative, which is you just Google yourselves. That's it, just Google yourselves and you'll see how you rank. So if it's the first time that you want to see like how someone in some certain country wants to see me, just type in your country, your city name, what shows up there, is going to be the first impact that someone will have. So all this um, is interesting and then to say like, okay, the question is, is if the, what is the result that is showing? But the, the other question you have to ask yourselves is, is anyone searching? <laughs> is anyone searching for me? And what are they searching for? And when are they searching for? And from which countries? And so this whole thing about the digital country as creating the search as a new KPI, a new metric, which is 
what are people searching for me specifically worldwide. And that is why we have Create finally talking to you about the Digital Country Index. So the Digital Country Index is an index that measures the brand appeal of the digital country. And specifically, um, this is powered by a software called Digital Demand, a proprietary software by Digital Demand. And specifically, uh, what we do is we measure the total amount of searches by all these five stakeholders towards any country, any city, or any region. Right now, I'm going to talk about countries and some places, like countries that are not, you know, like Aruba is not a country, but it still has um, a place brand. And using the software, like I mentioned, that is called Digital Demand, um, sorry about that. Uh, so it's a, a software that helps governments to analyze the big data on the searches that they have about the di real appeal in the, in, the, in the digital world. How does this work? Like I said, the software collects the big data. All the, so you have an idea, we're talking nearly about one trillion searches about countries. Um, and then what we do with this, with this software is we filter all those searches and we process all these searches that are done and what are people searching for any given country into the five dimensions. So is this a search that is related to exports? Is this a search that is related to tourism? Is this a search that is related with talent? And then, because it's so many keywords, like one trillion keywords and, uh, and the results, what we do is we cluster them into what we call brand tags or brand tag families. Yeah? And then we go into a brand tag, which is a micro segment inside. So it's very important, this word, please remember, brand tag and brand tag family. So these are the three words like family, brand tag family, brand tag, and also dimension. These are the dimensions, this is the family, and then the other level is uh, the, the brand tags. It is my great pleasure to give you the results of the Digital Country Index right here, right now, for the first time. So despite the fight, the US is still number one. And, and you have to understand one thing. The, the objective of this index is not to say, oh, we are in this position. That's how nice how this consultancy is actually analyzing the data and giving their input. This is pure information. This is what people are searching. So it's not us. The only job we have done was to clean those, the big data and organize it. So, there's no such, oh, but I'll just say, how can it be that the US with all the problems, I know, <laughs> I know, but it's still number one. It's still what those five stakeholders search the most. Now, again, this index, and when I say that this index, we don't want to just to be kind of a vanity a contest. Uh, so to start with, like I said, there's no interpretation from our side, there's just cleaning. And the other thing is we wanted this to become a tool a work tool, something that you can work, countries can work with and implement in their strategies, in their definitions. So we go deeper and we start to open more and more and go deeper on, on this information. And I go by uh, geography, which as you can see I have here on my left, I have the countries, then I have Africa, then I have the Americas, Asia and Europe. And then here you also can have like a percentage of what are the topics that are most searched for. And you can see that the search that, that are, that's dominant, the dimensions, remember the five dimensions we mentioned, definitely tourism is the big winner. It's, of course, it's a more transactional, like I said. But you also have um, uh, interesting, uh, for instance, the national province, which, which as you see is in black, which is the diplomacy. Um, and you can also see talent, people that want to live and to work and of course the, the part of the investment and exports, that's minimal, uh, minimal of course. Now we go deeper on this software and we can even look at this information by um, the dimension. And here is when I want to make a caveat and you see like this is you have the exports, the investment, tourism, talent and prominence. And you can see that business related China wins. Um, also it's interesting to see uh, number four, Brazil, Stephen, with all, all, still with all the, the, the issues that is going on. Tourism, there's no surprise that Spain wins. Talent, the US is still the place, Canada, Australia and Germany, and the UK as well. And diplomacy as well, the US. Now, I said we did not touch the data, we did not have any 
uh, qualitative interpretation. And there's only one that we did. And so you understand the index, the way it's done is we just did 25, 25, 25, 25 percent. So it's not about who has most searches, it's searches within each category. And then we just give 25 percent to all of them and that's how the global index is calculated, okay? On the prominent side, that was the only place that we had to take qualitative input. And that is the reason why we are all older now because it was <laughs> absolutely um, nerve-wracking in terms of finding the right information because we had to put a co into context certain things such as corruption, for instance, is a keyword. And it, so we had to imp start to implement negative keywords as well. People search for corruption in countries. Now the question is if someone looks for corruption in China and or looks for corruption in, in Sweden, it's for different reasons. It's for a positive reason for Sweden and it's for a negative reason in China. So we had to look into, okay, how do we do this for all the 245 countries and places that are in the index? And what we did was we correlated this with external indexes. For instance, with Transparency International. So we did like for each country, how they ranked. So if Sweden is on the top, if someone searches for Sweden or for Germany, it's positive, so it goes up. If someone searches a lot for, for China, they go down. Okay, so if there's any Interpretation, our input specifically is on the prominent side, okay? But we're delighted to talk to you about. I don't know if you just want to mention, Joan, a couple of indexes, like Transparency International is, is one of them, right? And from the United Nations, right? Okay. So uh, you then have, uh, uh, from the, the dimension perspective, and then this is when it starts to get, yeah, and we have this by, by continents. So for instance, in the Americas, one by one, we see all the dimensions and how they are searched for and the families, the brand tech families. Remember the brand tech families, which is the macro cluster of the brand techs. Yeah? Okay. Every dimension has different families. Yes. Okay, between three and five big families and inside we have a range between around 20 to 40 brand tech, which are specific categories. Yes. Now we go into detail into this, and again, our intention with this index is that it's a work tool and not a vanity <laughs> contest. So it's like to see really what, where am I performing better or not. So this is the world, like if we go to a country, for instance, let's take Sweden. Don't worry, we'll cover all the countries here, okay? So, <laughs> so you can see how Sweden is in the index. So the index, you see, for instance, Sweden is in position 32, and you see the country ahead of Sweden is, is Taiwan, yes, in terms of searches uh, for the index. But here you see Sweden, and you see Sri Lanka, and you say, like, this shouldn't it be the same? No, remember, this is the pure data, so just the searches, even the negative ones, we didn't put any interpretation, and here, yes, is with interpretation. So then you can also take your own assessment on, on the data that is, that is going on. So I put in myself into context to other countries to see how my search, how many searches I have, and also something very interesting, which is the seasonality. So how, and by month, how am, how, you know, who, the, the amount of searches that I'm being searched for, and also by the brand tags, one by one, I look into them and to see what I might search most for the most. And, and if you go, for instance, to tourism, so that's a general over, overview. Filter, yeah. Exactly. And you see, for instance, the local gastronomy is the most searched one. And that's it. I'm not going to reveal anymore, otherwise Sweden gets upset with me. And, uh, <laughs> and I don't want to upset my clients. <laughs> so now we go to... The brand tag, remember the 40 ones, that is the nail, the, like the topics of the types of searches. So if you want to go to Finland, for instance. Anyone from Finland here? No? Oh, yeah, hello, yes? I'm representing Sweden. Okay, very good. Also my clients, so hello. <laughs> and you go to tourism as well, just I think it's easiest. Yeah, <laughs> We got to voting, it's interesting. Yeah. yeah, why not? The brand tag of voting, and you see that seven, it's Sweden, uh, Finland is the 73rd most searched topic worldwide um, for voting in this specific case, yeah, when we're talking about tourism. And uh, you see that the countries, this is what's interesting, is like the how, which are the countries that are searching me the most? In this case, for, for Finland, it's the UK, Germany, and how are the searches? Now, can you go to, please, to, still on the brand tags, go to, 
uh, here, there on, instead of voting, uh, you go to the national prominence and just put creativity and innovation. But you have to put on the dimension first. Okay. Thank you. Finland, yeah? Exactly. Creativity and innovation. So this is a, one of the brand tags inside um, prominence and, and diplomacy. So people searching for specifically this. So as you can imagine, we have like 200 brand tags or something like that. We can talk to you about all the brand tags in top, but, but there you go. So, and you can write uh, Finland, please. So it's the 37th most searched country for um, uh, creativity and innovation. And you see, it's Colombia is, is, is the next one, Jordan, Chile. And th this is really nice, nice to see, like, sometimes we have kind of cliches in our own head of like, oh, for sure, the search for creativity and innovation. You have other countries that are generating more and more of this industry. And that's what we believe is really interesting about this, this data, is to see like, wow, really, Colombia? <laughs> search more than Finland? It's like, this is destroying preconceived ideas we have. And also what we do is we analyze this throughout one year. So it's not just last memory or, or, or just the late, latest sample. And the other thing that is interesting about this is that it's the absolute searches worldwide for the full year. So we see month by month, and we can see there was a peak in a specific month there. Can, can you show, uh, show top 10 in that category as well? I think we can. Uh, yes. We're going to create it. We're going to create it together. You're going to see, yes. Now we're going to, because this is all customizable, it's editable, yeah? Yeah. yeah. These are just uh, preset filters, yes. preset dashboards. This is 100% adjustable. Yeah. So, we're so, and now I think one more, right? And I think we're done. The target market. Okay. So can also see yeah, that one was. It's the same. Yes. We go deeper. Sweden. Go for tourism. And then let's see, for example, the beach. Yeah. So, you have here the filters you can play around. So, here you have the searches competitors, and here you see that it's the US, Germany, UK, the Netherlands, France, yeah. and Denmark. The countries of origin that search more about this specific topic yeah. from this dimension. In this country. So yeah. We take it out. This automatically changes. Okay. Not this, because it's just for the person. So, but you see that beaches is the most searched topic for tourism worldwide. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And finally, yeah, which is I look at the target market like, okay, Sweden. I'm sorry, Sweden. Don't get upset at me. I'm just showing the highlights. Just one or two things, okay? So. <laughs> Tourism. And then here we have yeah. the detail. Let's see what Germany wants. Okay, so it's the second country that most searched for Sweden. And it, but in terms of arrivals, because we can cross this also with other statistics. Uh, it's a nice comparison to analyze and how is the seasonality and what is Germany searching for the most in Sweden. Yeah. Yeah, here are the markets and here you have the brand maps, yes. which is precisely the other way around from the same formation from a different yeah. perspective. So we see it's protected areas. Yes. So we're going to create now a dashboard here together with all the countries that are here. If you are a city, just please tell the name of your country because that's the data we have here. And we're going to create something fun. Okay, so. We're going to create, we need, just need is um, the widget, yeah? We're going to create the, on the widget. Need yeah. Widget. First of all, we have to choose which type of information we want. So digital this is demand. Digital demand. Searches. And we're going to drag it here. This is the total. Now. Worldwide searches. This is the total searches for um, all the five dimensions. Okay, we said one trillion. Getting there. <laughs> or one billion. Put the brand back, and then we're gonna put country. Perfect. Yeah. And now we proceed to, to filter, exactly. customize. So we go by country, so Sweden that we've been talking a lot, and then I'm going to ask, I'm going to, I'm going to tell by heart, and then you're going to say if I'm missing any country here, okay? So Sweden is one. There you go. Yeah. 
Sweden, Germany. Is, is France here? France? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Germany? Is it New Zealand? Auckland? Yeah, okay. Germany. We have to bring that thing, that menu. There you go. Germany, uh, New Zealand. Latvia, Austria, Ireland, Ireland here, yes, yes. <laughs> Estonia, Estonia, no? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> France. Who am I missing? Australia. <laughs> Australia, yes. Sorry. Denmark. And Denmark. And Costa Rica, yes. Yes. And the Netherlands. And the Netherlands, very good. Costa Rica. Yes, Costa Rica. Yeah. Netherlands. And Denmark. Sorry, Denmark. <laughs> you were right in front of me. <laughs> oh, right. Hang on. Finland and Norway. Finland is there, right? I didn't. <laughs> but you can do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Iceland, was, uh, Iceland, yes. Okay, Finland. Norway. Finland, Norway. <laughs> Finland. <laughs> Norway. And, and the Iceland, of course. Yes, Iceland is in. Hmm? Yeah. Norway, yes, yes. And in honor to you, let's put Spain. Iceland, right? Yes. Uh, I think it was selected, no? Good. We want. Let's go to prominence. I think it's it's a creativity and innovation. I think you have to select as well. So, yeah. so the brand tags, yeah. yeah. Economy. Go go for the economy. Any any other topic that you're interested to see to compare yourself with? Creativity. Yeah, creative innovation. Investment. Investment. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we, go, we go for it, okay. <laughs> well, that's for the investing. Okay, and just, yeah, it's an exercise. And then this one is easy to customize that when we see. Yes. So you see here the countries. We can hide them or not. So we could have selected the continent and then. So. Um, you want to put the the, the, yeah. the visualization on yeah. top, the bars right. ascending, so yes? Move it around. See. And yeah. a horizontal, okay. maybe, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's no? do it like this. So as you can see, you, you can choose several charts. This is the, the automatic one. 
and move uh, the x and y dimension. That's going to put a horizontal chart. No. Yeah, we'll look good. And Ascending? Wait, wait. We're going to put it. Yeah, we can sort it. It's going to be something a little bit better. City Nation Place. <coughs> test, not a test? No. No? Okay. Okay. So Germany, <laughs> for economy. Here are the, let's go one by one. Yeah. Yes. And then we exactly. Okay. Creativity innovations for Norway, the Netherlands, Australia, France, Germany, Iceland, Denmark, New Zealand, Sweden, Spain, Finland, Ireland, Costa Rica, Austria, and Estonia, and Latvia. So who's that? No. This. Yeah, creativity yeah. innovation, for creativity innovation, yes. Yeah. I'm going to go one by one. Okay. Now we go for uh, economy. Yeah. So for economy is Germany, Spain, France, Australia, Sweden, Ireland, Norway, New Zealand, Denmark, Netherlands, Finland, Iceland, Austria, Costa Rica, Latvia, and Estonia. Okay. And invest. Spain, <laughs> surprising. I think you. <laughs> Australia, France, Germany, New Zealand, Ireland, Sweden, Denmark, Finland, Costa Rica, Norway, Austria, Estonia, Latvia, and the Netherlands. And the Netherlands. Wow. No. So as you can see, this is an Iceland. Sorry. <laughs> um, I mean, th this data is infinite, and I just start to play around it and to see whatever I want to find uh, about any, any given country. And as you can see, the eyebrows come when the results come out, and that we as well go like, wow, you know, and we work with this every day, you know. You want to see so show some, some more examples? I mean, whatever you want. Exactly. If there's anything that you want, yes. I've been wondering something because on the tourism ranking, yes. um, Sweden and Norway is uh, ranked much higher than Denmark. Yes. But actually, the the overnight stays yes. in Denmark is the same as the total of Sweden mm -hmm. and Norway. So that is the ranking, right? You're talking about the country brand ranking, right? The Bloom Consulting country brand ranking. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's this is a different index. This is purely on searches. So th that one has other components. That one has our inputs in it, and this, this, we Can have. Sweden and Norway better? No, 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 no. <laughs> it, it, it's it's a different methodology. Okay. So here is just that's what we wanted to do with pure results. Here, there's no input from our side except filtering and prominence. Yes, and just, please. Uh, but still, it's strange. Yeah, no, I can tell you, I had some. Yeah, but for the index, so the ranking, I, can, I think we can talk later because it's, it's a different topic. Yeah, but you can see, for instance, if we put the, in terms of uh, searches for tourism and compare the three countries, I think it could be interesting. Yes, Hunt. Yeah, we're working with big data. There yes. There is a possibility to, to um, see sentiment. Yes. Do you, do you work with this as well? Uh, we, uh, the sentiment analysis is done through our call. Then we write reports on this. Okay, meaning we look into this data and we enter, then we put our hours in, 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 into analyzing and trying to put the sentiment uh, aspect that you very well mentioned. Not from a technology point of view, but from a qualitative and, and consulting point of view. For the further studies. Yes, for further study. Then we say, like, why is this happening? And then we go deeper and investigate and, and research. And we do that for you, by the way. <laughs> I mean, for your country, yes. <laughs> Any aspect that you want to go deeper on the, on the data here? It's, now is the moment. Because then this is closed. We just show the positions, the dimensions, and then the, the rest is in the, in the software. And that's a different access. Can I ask you, you mentioned not only countries, but some regions and cities as well? Yes. You can 
cities it's not here yet when we say places other places as you know we have like there's always a debate about 193 94 92 countries the un that may say or not um so when we say places is um for instance like i said example of aruba right so it's not a country but it is a place that's the category we're in that sometimes is mixed up of a country we don't have yet the result the index for cities okay or for other regions we do that custom made for countries and cities uh, for regions and cities. So for instance, we work with Helsinki, uh, or we work uh, with Madrid, and so on. So we, we work, but it's not available here on this on this, on this so, so you mean in that sense, um, uh, a small place like a region like that, we, yes. like a small country, yes. would be about the same way? Yes, I mean, like I said, Aruba is a great example, right? It's Dutch, but it's, it still has its own looks, it has its own identity and its own, people don't know sometimes that it's, it's Dutch. So, uh, that's the kind of level we're talking about. Nevertheless, when we go cities, for instance, when we analyze cities and, and regions, we don't put them into context of countries. We don't compare them with countries. We only compare them with cities and regions. How do you deal with when there are like spelling differences and things like yes. that? Yes. We analyze in nine different languages okay. uh, for uh, all of them, and we have linguistics, and we have translators, and everything in every all those languages to make sure that uh, this, the type of searches is, is correct interpreted. And we see and we take in consideration when there's mistakes, mm -hmm. misspell mistakes, and we count them as well. Okay. okay, not all of them, but the most common ones. Okay. And is this like live, like this is just happening right now? No, this is the data collected from last year. So it's 2014, we do this every year. We update the data every year. Generated. Yes, yes, yes. And then what you have is the data throughout those 12 months, month by month. Yes, please. Yes, we do compare years. We do compare years. So we have the 2013 data yes. already. Yes, 14. yes, yes, yes. At the end of the year, we get it. Yes. Data. How long in the past? Two years. Right. right now, two years. But then we're going to have always like three and four and five. I mean, this is new. It's very new. So we started having this data, um, I say, three years ago. It was the, the first time that we, and we've been working on this over the last five years. So we only launched it after two years of working and testing. and. And uh, then we launched it in, in, like I said, it was in three years ago, uh, the beta version. And then we start with the first reports. And then, so three years is the data, the time span we have. Very solid the last two years. Because even the data that is available online, and I mean, the searches, then the way that these tools work, because we get this data from the search engines, they even change sometimes the parameters. So we have to adapt to the searches and to the information that they give. Now you may say like, so, but can I find this information in Google? It's just like, you know, I go to Google Trends and I see the evolution and so on. I say, yes, you can have probably just a small highlight, but Google does not give you all the data. They give you like 100, 100, like relative numbers to topics. And then, you know, when you say tourism, like if you want to say travel to, what does that travel to entail? You know, and that's, that Google does not, it's not possible to give all the data in such a detailed way as we do because we spend, we have a team of 10 people just cleaning, cleaning the data that uh, is available in one of the sources, which is Google. And of course, we have other search engines that we work on. So Google has is like a huge warehouse. We just know is where to get the information and to know that it's for sure related to tourism. It's for sure related with prominence. And it's not just a random search from a university doing a paper on geography about Germany. You know, so that's what this is about. And we apply the same criteria for all the countries, regions, or places that, that we include. In the exactly. Universe. So what is this, also? It's just, uh, again, a, another list of, of searches was filtered by, by tourism. Yeah, for tourism, yeah. So Spain and Italy and Germany. Germany is the third country most searched in the world for tourism, yes? Yeah, check it for tourism. Yes. But anyway, so. Yeah, I mean, I was playing around so you could see a bit the yeah. functionalities will do. With. Exactly. But again, this is it. <laughs> this is what this is all about. This is what the digital country is all about. And this is what the digital country um, is about. It's a new definition uh, in country branding and place branding. And when I say digital country, it's digital city, digital region, uh, and how to work with that. And so that you understand the research that we have indicates that the majority of all your stakeholders, they search online for you. So what are they searching for in detail? This is what this is all about. Yeah. Can you pull up the, the, <coughs> the complete index again? Yeah, the complete index, yes, sure. So we're, we're going to be looking at to see if I interpret that correctly. The United States was number one. Yeah. Yeah. 
This is simply the number. So the number, the exactly. I mean, it, it, has the, it has two filters. The filter it has is, if you go to the dimensions, please, to show how this, is, this number came out. Exactly. So it is, these are the searches for inside each dimension. So this is the country that is most searched for, exports, investment, tourism, talent, and prominence. That last one has qualitative input, meaning the US is not the most searched country. But what we know is we have to correlate this with other indexes to know if it, the searches were positive or negative. And we have, I don't know, it's 20 indexes approximately. Yeah. Approxim okay, so to one see for one, one for each brand tag that is negative. So we, we find a, a correlation. Now what you do have is like, for instance, you have 1 million searches here and you can have 1,000 searches here, right? Mm -hmm. so, Exactly. So the difference between each one of them. And what we did to, for the global ranking, what we did, the index was we applied 25% criteria to all of them, to each dimension. And that's how you get the global index. Okay? Mm -hmm. But if you want to see the pure search about searches, is when you go on the country card. Exactly. You go to the software, and here is the absolute, this is the absolute searches. This is, there's, there's no filter here, it's just the searches. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Let's go to investment in this case, which, by the way, you also are a client. <laughs> Can I ask you, what about Twitter and, and blogs? Good question. Yeah. Good question. That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> this measures the consequence, not the cause. Okay. So I'm measuring the impact that potentially Twitter has caused on me, the same way that I'm measuring if an article that it has impact on me. So I'm not measuring. Because and why you say like, but no, that's another measurement, it's important, but has that post, that Twitter impact, impacted you to search voluntarily for the place? It's like when we look, for instance, into consumers to say like, oh, what's going on in Turkey is horrible, but I still book my vacation there. Mm -hmm. So it's really like, how deep is that impact of that event or the, 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 the continuous uh, uh, event is having on my behavior, my day-to-day -day behavior. That's what this is uh, all about. So the consequence, not the cause. <laughs> okay. That's it. Any more questions? <laughs> oh, one question. Um, I might have missed that. But was it Google only or Google being yes, it's, it's mainly uh, Google data, that's the majority, and then we have for, for China as well, so Baidu, okay, yeah. yes. Yandex is not so transparent, and so, so even Baidu, mm -hmm. but um, it's difficult to get all this data from, from Yandex, so it's Baidu and Google. In, in the cases, uh, if not, we apply and we correct with the market share of every search engine. Yeah, exactly, yes. So at the end, we're able to assure that we have the full sample of the population exactly. from, from that country. The search screen always has to be a combination from the country and investment USA. Yes, yes, like yes, 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 yes. Several combinations yes. Yeah. on the same topic. Exactly. So for instance, invest is one brand tag. Yeah. So we look for keywords and we found what are those keywords, right? So invest is just a cluster, so we call it a brand tag or brand tech family. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then when you go down, what's inside there is all potential combinations like where to invest in USA, investment opportunities in USA, all the things related with the but country. It has to be US. Yeah, it has to be, it has to be. Uh, not California and so on. No, another very excellent question, which is this is on the country level. Okay. We don't have city, yeah. brand tags or anything. That's another thing that we also do, but in this index, it was just to measure the pure interest on the country on a holistic level, yes? Yes, please. Just out of curiosity, because yeah, you don't have the cities. And when looking at the smaller regions, I myself from the region of Orland in Finland. Yes. And this could be spelled with an A in yes. yes. with an A with a dot yes. or the Orland Islands. Yes. So if you were to look that up, how? Like I said, we, uh, we do this for every place. Okay. We type in, we see what results show up, and we include according to the results. So it's very personalized, the types of searches. So it's not automatic, the, the collection. No. Is but, you would it, like we would change for, the, your names according yeah. to the post. For example, the look, U.S. would look at US. tourism and that region. And I'm just curious to see how it shows it. The, the, which one? 
Uh, we don't have on the, on the uh, like I said, on the regional, on the city level here, so only on the country. It's more like a territory, it's usually on yes. like a river. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. That's another index. Here is just to measure okay. the, we the have country. 150 uh, places. Yeah. Th this one is not yes. is in the database. database we have. Yes. However, we, we work also with, with regions and cities and we customize the search yes. and we launch a specific yes. project. And even to compare yourself with which with whom you want. According to your name, we do it in, in all the languages, in more than yeah. nine, ten languages, with all the typos or everything it's important. Like Spanish has special signs, mm -hmm. also Portuguese, yeah. so, so we do all this. Latvian as well. Yeah. <laughs> Russian. Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> Have you considered showing <coughs> this information in a relative way? For example, in, in this chart you have here, of course, it's my country, so I'm looking at it. Yes, it, yes. It, here's 30 in talent. Yes. And we're, like, for example, Mexico is right behind us a little bit. Yes. We're 4.5 million people. Mexico yes. has 120 million. Yes, 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 yes. And this is an absolute number. Absolutely. And so, it's I mean, a good question. Do you think of relative or yes. to population or to GDP or to... Solar? No, no. It's, it's, it's so pure data data. data that we wanted to take our interpretation away as possible. Mm -hmm. Because there's a potential... Um, different views, and that's what we want. It's like you take your own assumptions while looking at this and making that assumptions. So, like, so it's for me. It's a work tool for you to see how is this information relative. And of course, you have to put that in context. Yeah. Yes. So when then? Yes. So does that mean that Costa Rica is actually doing really good? Quite well, if then if you ask uh, us, I would say yes. I would say that Port uh, Costa Rica is doing uh, uh, really well. And you have to understand also another thing, like you have, for instance, Portugal, which is very strange. So a like country in a recession, why is it so high? And you say like, well, the searches from the locals. No, this is all international searches. So it's from from never domestic searches. Okay, so. Um, only international, searches? only international searches for your country. So you exclude your own. I mean, yeah. that is the. We can do the domestic market. Yes, but but here it's only calculated the international appeal. Yeah. It, it, comparing, <coughs> and, and that is, and John, on following up on your question before, is we we do um, analyze and as in in our reports, and we put it in context, as we say, not so much the local population or how big is your country is the amount of people it is this this the, the way we explain the amount exactly. of people that is searching about you compared in this case would be towards the amount of people that go and we have kind of a conversion factor so you can understand if there is a lot of recurrent tourists or not if there are a lot of people that search but eventually don't go or the other way around that there is a lot of people searching and in fact, this is growing, aligning to yes. the growth in, in, in yeah. arrivals, because that's the unit we have today. Yeah. But now we have the other one. Yes. Same for investment. We have the investment flows. We have the amount of expats that go in different countries. And at the end of the day, we can, and this we see is, is a real indicator that, that can be aligned and normally is correlated with the increase in search. Yes. We believe that the more searches you have, the better. Now, when you have a lot, the challenge is to see if really these searches are competing in the way you like and yes. in the markets you want. Yes. Aligned to the campaigns you're doing in specific markets with specific categories. Or no campaign at all, just what's going on there, yes. You yeah. cannot control, and that's the only thing, the recurrent tourists. In tourism, search. in the tourism dimension, yes. For example, what did you say again? The recurrent tourists, mm. they don't search. They know the country, they go there. Yeah. Uh, this can happen in, in, in countries countries that have very big neighbor markets, yeah. the case of, for example, like Argentina and Uruguay, that's the kind of for the free floating yes. uh, markets, I mean Europe, but still, um, the majority of the tourists, as we were saying, <coughs> search today, and the increase in searches is very much aligned to the increase in new yeah. tourists, newcomers, that do not know anything about the country, or they want to consume specific products. Mm -hmm. or look for specific information regards of work, living, study, tourism, event, exactly. whatever is the topic. Exactly. Or just general curiosity. Yeah. Well, that's the prominent side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you said you, do you use Google, do you use YouTube at all? No. Even though they... No. Yes, yes, we do the search specifically from the search engine only. The future, I mean, the, the, the idea is that this will start to integrate even in more and more platforms. And you can even have like things such as other search platforms that are not the search engines, but you also can include them in the future. For now, it's, it's Google and the, it's search engines only.
But always the philosophy is the search. Okay. Uh, and you can do the analysis the other way around. If I want to know uh, for Austria, for what indicators, what search strings are re really good in comparison to Yes, other yes, of course, of course, yes, analyze. of course, yeah. of course, of course. Uh, that is one of the fun it's, things. Yeah. To yeah. Yeah. Search marking. One information we, yes, yeah. yeah. We have two areas is one, precisely what you were saying is benchmarking. Yeah. I am good, I know I'm good, how good I am. No? Yeah. In, in, in your close competitors, in a region, could be your continent and worldwide. Mm -hmm. You know that, that it's, it's interesting, it's Portugal for surfing, it's number one in Europe, but it's also... For world, tourism again, yes. In, in surfing, yeah. So, so at the end, this is putting things into context, like wow. No? And then the other way is, okay, I know this, but I might be more interested in knowing about me and about the markets. And, and you don't need to compare it to the others because at the end you have your strategies, you have your, your, your idea and, and you just want to know about you, which we have another big chapter, which is this country card. Exactly. Uh, yeah. uh, when you have analyzed this, uh, what are the most surprising facts? <laughs> uh, it's always surprising. The interesting thing is always surprising and, and what was really staggering for us, uh, well, uh, we saw one <laughs> right here, Spain for investment. And uh, there's always surprises in this kind of data. Also on the other side, like how is the U.S. still on the diplomacy side <laughs> so strong? You know, it's really surprising uh, for us. Um, and also, I think the, when you look into the index, the most surprises don't come on the top. Well, from, yes, the, the top five, there's always like it's kind of the usual suspects, you would say. But what is interesting is when you start to go down into the six, seven, ten, then that's when really the big surprises are in. You start to see countries like, why is this country so search for this? And, and it's always surprising us as well in that, in that sense. Right? It's interesting to see it by region, because there you can see a bit more. Yes. Because when we look at the, the, the world, it is very much aligned to the, I would say, the exactly. reformers. Same yes. Yes. For the smaller countries, you have to go more. Yes. But even like, for instance, a big surprise, if you look at Europe, you see the countries that are there. I think this is a big surprise for us. And the good thing is that it's not us saying it, you know, it's <laughs> people searching, you know, so it, this is just a pure indicators. Yeah, that, 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 is, that is a big surprise, you know. Can you mix those regions together? So could yes. you mix Oceania and Asia together? Yes, 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 yeah, yes, yes. Actually, we did. It's already there. The, the two are there together. Asia and Oceania is in there, okay, together. For simplification purposes, we put it all together, okay? So it's Oceania Asia there, <laughs> okay? Yeah, we, we have it in the, in the global database. In the global database here, but for simplification. For regions and all. Because otherwise it's Australia, New Zealand, and the rest. <laughs> you know, like if you want to just to put Oceania, so. We also have some regions like uh, well, Caribbean, Central America, South America, North America. Exactly. At the end, we, it's just, a, as you saw, a list of countries. We pick them, and you can even cross this information all over the world. Yeah. Why are your neighbors your competitors? We know exactly. sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're not, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's, it's flexible. Yeah. You can do. And um, also, just to finalize, I think we have to go to the, yeah, uh, yeah we have to go now. So uh, just if you, you, if you go to our website, you can see this already, the, the, the position. So by all means. And also I leave you with a surprise and a, a teaser to go to the website, which is if you go, not to the website, but next to the page. We have created a special category called the award section. So we mixed our own brand tags to assess who are the top performers in each of these new categories that we have here. So here is our, we just call, we pick the brand tags that we said that go towards inside of it. So which is the most artistic country? Which is the greenest country? What is, and we just put all the brand tags there. Find for yourselves, go to the website. Yeah, well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.